We had hoped that the correspondence that we received from NBC would, would contain some vital evidence and very, be of very significant value. When the FBI took custody of the package yesterday afternoon, it was immediately to become a part of our criminal investigative package and our, our criminal investigative files. Now, while there was some marginal value to the package that we received, the fact of the matter is we already had most all of this information and most all of this evidence among the evidence that we'd recovered to date. You had 100 billion chances in the ways to have avoided today, but you decided to spill my blood. The videos are in the, in the nature, and I think in the way he intended, they're very disturbing. And obviously he wanted everybody to see these as soon as possible after these shootings occurred. And uh, I just think it only adds up to everybody's uh, sadness and uh, sort of nervousness even just about the entire situation. Do you think it adds an are people angrier about it now than they were before they saw the video? I don't think anybody can be more angrier than or sad or depressed than when they see a friend of theirs has died. I just think this only compounds onto it, but I don't think it particularly adds or takes away from it. It just prolongs the process of getting over it just a little bit longer. It is, it is kind of eerie to look at that, and it was kind of, it was kind of really uh, upsetting to know that he, he thought like that, and he actually walked among us and stuff like that. We are at a point in time when we are closing out our on-scene investigation of this matter, and now we move on to the task of reviewing and re-reviewing and interviewing and re-interviewing and combing through the mounds of evidence that we've collected. We're trying to determine what happened and as, as much as possible why 